Hi, it's Kerr9000. Welcome back to my channel and to my Never Grow Up Geek Culture Corner. And, yeah, I've been doing a lot of Prime drinks recently and Tyson Fury and I actually had somebody recommend some to me. They told me that I should get Oshi. It's this company that basically make, I think they drinks like the isotonic kind of sports drinks which are supposed to be, you know, high in vitamins and energy to help you like run or bike ride. But I got told I should try them. This one's Oshi Multi Through Zero, and the other one I got, which I couldn't help but grab, Oshi the Witcher. Isotonic Elixir. I love the fact they call it Elixir. It, you know, it keeps in tune with the sort of RPG feel. Lilac and gooseberry flavour. Lilac and gooseberry. Well, that's uh, original. This one says Multi Fruit, which could mean anything. But let's give them a bash. Oh yeah, there's a tab I've got to pull off here. Doesn't actually taste of a lot, this one. Muti for youth. Beverage, multi fruit. Um, oh, it's one of them where it's just full of wood resins, esters of wood resins. Okay, sweeteners, yeah, all the stuff you'd expect vitamins, B6 and biotin. Well, I've got to say, there's enough stuff in there that sounds healthy. And I imagine it can't be that bad for you. Probably better than a Red Bull. But this is what I'm pinning my money on. I hope this tastes good. I love the design. I love the bottle. As a heck of a geek, I'm a big Witcher fan. Oh, I like this. Yeah, I can get the gooseberry in that. Again, it's not a strong flavour, and it's it's not fizzy, it's still, but it's pleasant. I do think that is a nice drink that I'd, you know, I stack shelves a lot for work, and when it's hot you can be quite sweaty, and I often do it before the shop's open, and I think that's something that I could take to just keep myself hydrated and enjoy it without thinking about oh my god you're putting so much fizz into your gut I would actually rate this particular flavour over the primes I've tried the sad thing is this cost me 69p and there was a whole rack of them and I could have grabbed as many as I wanted so I suppose the moral of the story is get out there and try weird and interesting things. Don't stick with the norm. Don't follow the crowd running after Prime and trying to get something just because it says it's cool. Try different things. Break away from the crowd and you might just find something you really like. So thank you for watching my video. Take care of yourself and each other. Enjoy the rest of your day. Cheers. Latest taters. Hi, it's Kerr9000, the Chrome Face Man. I'd just like to say thank you for making it to the end of my video. I've got lots of stuff on my channel. My horror house doing horror reviews, games room doing games, sci-fi station. It's absolutely chock-a-block full. I can also be found on the Retro Gamer U forum, which is full of great people, great laugh. At the end of this video there's going to be some little icons to tick if you want to subscribe, a link to one video, a link to a playlist. I'd also like to recommend the wonderful, talented Just Jessica who does cosy games like Dreamlight Valley and is my supportive partner. Thank you ever so much once again for watching my video and particularly if you follow me, thank you for all your support and have a great rest of your day.